recipe is Srimal. Now, what is Srimal? This is actually a Persian influenced mildly sweet flatbread. I've actually tried this bread at several restaurants, uh, especially uh, while having kebabs, and I've always wondered how do I make this bread? It's very, very nice. So, I decided to share this recipe with you guys. Let's get started and check out the recipe. For the Srimal, first I'm going to dissolve some yeast in some warm water. Take a little warm water. The water is just warm and not too hot. I'm dissolving one teaspoon of yeast, roughly about seven grams. Wait until it dissolves completely. It'll take a couple of minutes. For the saffron milk, add some saffron into warm milk and keep it aside. Take a white bowl. Take two cups of maida or all-purpose flour. Add quarter teaspoon of carbon powder. Half teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons granulated sugar. Just make a little well in the center. To this add 2 tablespoons of ghee. Now I'm going to pour the dissolved yeast. Add the saffron milk. Start mixing the flour. Next, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of fresh cream and if you need a little more while mixing the dough or kneading the dough, you can use it. Add a little milk and cream simultaneously to get the right consistency for the dough. So, I've kneaded the dough for about 10 minutes. Close the bowl. I'm going to leave the dough to proof for about 2 hours. Make sure you keep it in a warm place or at room temperature. It's been about 2 hours. I'm just going to punch this down a little. The dough is proofed beautifully. So I'm just going to roll it. So we can make about 5 shirmal rotis. So roll it out a little thick, you can see, don't make it too flat, I'm just going to prick it with a fork. After you've rolled out the dough and pricked it, close it and let it sit for about 45 minutes. I'm going to make a sweetened saffron milk for this, take a little warm milk, add a few teaspoons of sugar and a pinch of saffron. Place the shirmal roti onto the tawa. Just grease a little butter. Keep the flame on low at all times throughout the cooking process. Brush a little butter on top. So I'm just going to flip this over. Brush a little butter on the other side as well. Close it and cook for about a minute or so. I'm just going to pour a teaspoon of the sweetened saffron milk onto the flatbread. Close it. Cook for another 30 seconds. The sheer mill is done, you can remove it from the tawa. So here is this delicious soft flatbread which is infused with saffron. The flavours are very mild and very delicate. So I'm sure you will enjoy this recipe. So do try it and enjoy. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on Amazon and 21 Frames.